What's up everybody? James Harris with Doc Health and Fitness. Uh, just wanted to take a moment to let you know a little bit about myself, about the channel, uh, and about the new website that we have uh, that's coming out hopefully early March. Um, I personally uh, have an interest in weight loss uh, and body transformation. Uh, uh, it's partly related to what I do for a living. I am a surgeon and uh, I do quite a few hernia operations. And many of my patients who need hernia repairs um, have to lose some weight before we actually do that surgery just because the, the hernia, if it's fixed while they have too much weight on board, it's under a lot of tension. And if that repair falls apart, it often comes back bigger than it was. So um, there's a right time to do hernia repairs and sometimes patients need to lose that weight first. Well, uh, over the years, I've spent a lot of time speaking with my patients and advising them about how they could go about losing weight successfully and keeping it off. And I've seen many patients come back uh, after they've lost the weight and they're ready to have their surgery. So that kind of gave me the idea about why uh, I wanted to start some type of a, uh, a program that could uh, reach out through a, a larger platform online to many more people. In contrast to me just having a one-on-one -on -one consultation uh, with a patient, uh, I could set up a program that can reach out to many, many people and hopefully help them achieve their weight loss goals. So that's the idea of the program. Uh, my personal interest came from, uh, uh, I have a family history of colon cancer and uh, my grandfather actually died from colon cancer and uh, I started seeing a lot of patients who were younger and younger who had colon cancer and that was scary to me. So I thought, huh, I probably should get a colonoscopy uh, just to make sure everything's okay. This was when I was around 40 years old. I got a colonoscopy and I had like over 25 polyps. Uh, pretty scary. You know, polyps turn into cancer if left untreated. And that's the nice thing about getting a colonoscopy is you can actually have polyps removed and that could actually prevent cancers from forming. So it's, it's a very important thing for people who get the colonoscopy, especially if they have a high risk for colon cancer or uh, personal uh, family history, etc. Uh, anyway, so I had all those 25 polyps removed and then uh, my GI doc suggested that I get another colonoscopy the next year just to make sure that there's not anything going on. I repeated the colonoscopy in a year and five more polyps had formed since then, which is, you know, very scary. Um, one of those polyps was like over a centimeter. So um, that could have potentially turned into a cancer and, you know, like Chadwick Boseman, for example, you know, the late, great Chadwick Bose Boseman, rest in peace, you know, Black Panther, he died from colon cancer and he was very young. And sometimes, uh, you know, there's not really much you can do. There's, there's bad luck and everything. But if you could get a colonoscopy early enough before colon cancer even has had the chance to develop, um, it could be life-saving. And uh, my wake-up call was that second colonoscopy where those, those polyps had formed in such a short amount of time. So I got genetic testing to see if there's any type of a, a mutation that could have been driving this. Everything came back negative. So I then decided, well, I need to clean up my diet. I cut out red meat. I cut out, a, for the majority, most all processed foods and uh, just started eating really clean. And I worked on losing some weight. Got another colonoscopy in a year and everything looked fine. And in the meantime, I had lost weight. I started feeling healthier. So that was the big push for me to try to focus on keeping a healthy diet. Um, the, the, the exercise side, that I've, I've always been interested in exercise, but I was never an athlete. I never really um, did much uh, weightlifting. Um, I do a little bit, I dabble, but I was never really structured about it. I had no idea what to do in the gym. I jump around without any focus and I wasn't making any real progress. Um, and the thing that inspired me, especially to get in shape is that um, my wife and I, we have a disabled son uh, who's uh, been disabled for about eight years now. He was 17 at the time when he had a horrible head injury. He was just riding a skateboard uh, and fell off and, and it almost killed him. Uh, at the time, he was like the fastest kid on the track team. Uh, you'd think he was invincible and, and something as simple as, as falling off the skateboard almost killed him. And um, anyway, um, I have to pick him up and we have to care for him and lift him. And uh, one day I was picking him up and, and he kind of dropped in a funny way and it pulled my shoulder and caused a little shoulder injury and then my lower back. Um, I came back from that injury and I got better, but I was then scared that, gosh, if something happens to me, how are we going to be able to take care of him? And this was at the very beginning of COVID and we had lost our nurses. So it was really just my wife and I. Uh, so it, it had been quite a, a challenge. 
Anyway, I was determined to try to strengthen my back. And one exercise that I was always afraid of was the deadlift. But out of all the exercises, I think it's that one exercise that if you do it right and you learn how to do it the right way, it works the most muscles in your body. And it's a very functional type of an exercise that will strengthen your back. And um, uh, you just have to learn how to do it right. And I started really low weight. I mean, I think I was just doing maybe a little bit over the bar. Uh, so, you know, a little bit over 45 pounds uh, with the Olympic bar. And I slowly got my way up. My, my goal was to get to his weight. And I think at the time he was about 155 pounds. So I got up to 155 pounds. I was doing like 10 reps, you know, three sets. And my back was getting stronger. And I thought, well, I just got to start keep adding the weight. And uh, I wasn't having back pain anymore. My, my paraspinal muscles were, were strengthening and they were taking the load off of the spine. And it was making it so that every time I picked... Marcus up or son up, um, I was using those muscles that were developed. Instead of having that heavy load cause my spine to be in a bad uh, uh, position, I was using good form and I was picking him up just like I did the deadlifts. And that inspired me to keep going further. And I started looking into how to do other exercises properly. There's all kinds of good programs out there uh, where you can learn it. A lot of great videos on YouTube, a um, lot of resources. But the important thing is that you start off slow with good form and then progressively improve your your um, your strength by adding weight or adding reps uh, and making sure that you're not having any pain when you're doing it if it hurts then you're not doing something right uh, that's when you got to get somebody to you know check on you make sure that you have good form and don't allow anyone to push you beyond your comfort level um, Anyway, and then finally, recovery is another one of the big things that we are going to be pushing and, and helping people to understand. It's so important. When you set up a program, you don't want to keep hitting the same muscles over and over again. You want to give yourself at least 48 hours to recover. And for some people, they're going to need more time than that. 40 hours may not be enough. If you have a total body program that you may have set up and it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you may come to Wednesday and find that, wow, I'm still really sore. If you go to the gym and start trying to work out and hit that same muscle again and you're still super sore, you may be setting yourself up for an injury. And if you injure yourself, what good are you going to be? You're not going to be able to do anything. You're not going to see any gains. So um, it, it's a matter of being patient and consistent and, um, and having someone to help you when you don't really know how to go. And that's where we hope to be able to help some folks. We're going to be looking at this from the perspective of a physician because first and foremost, we don't want you to get hurt. We want you to be able to be in a better state of health. We want to consider all your different medical issues that could impact your ability to be able to exercise and then give you a, a framework about how you could be able to progress and move forward in a safe way. Um, so anyway, I, I hope that you, you like this video and um, please look out for more videos to come. If you are interested in this content, please subscribe and uh, have a great day.